right, we're looking at the Dell Inspiron 530 computer here. I've got a power cable, I've got a monitor cable so I can hook it up to my television set, and I've got a mouse so we can wire this thing up and test it and see if it works. Awesome. All right, I got everything minus power wired up. This is balls to the wall. I have no idea what this thing's gonna do, no idea if it works at all. So let's plug it in and see what blows up. We've got, ooh, it's already on. Startled me. We got beep, we got Dell. Oh, previous attempts at booting the system failed. Windows XP, Windows XP, really? TV doesn't know what to do. Is there anything in the optical drive? Nope, but it does work. Previous attempts at booting have failed. I wonder what that means. Maybe the CMOS battery's dead. God, it looks promising right now. It's nice and quiet. What if I can change the aspect ratio? Oh, look at that. Booted right up. I can't believe it. This thing works perfect. And someone just threw it out. Oh, them art students. They don't know good stuff when they see it. Oh well, more for me, more for us. <laughs> Sweet. Well, I have no idea what kind of, what speed processor's in this, so let's find out. 1.6 gigahertz. It's an Intel Celeron 420. One gigabyte of RAM. Windows XP Service Pack 3. Oh, this is fantastic. Absolutely awesome. It's got a D-Link, apparently at some point in its life it had a D-Link wireless card. I guess, you know, being made in 2008, you know, a lot of people were still downgrading Vista to XP, so that might be what was ac what actually uh, happened with this system. Not much on it. Out of the 75 gigabytes free on the hard drive, 22 in use. Uh, let me see, is there the Dell logo on this? No, so it's not the original factory installation. It's in their cycle bin. All I want to find out is when this thing, oh, lots of pictures. I won't show that in case they're personal. Uh, look at this, family photos. Now see, if I, if I had malicious intentions with this thing, man, I could take these photos and, you know, I could, I, oh, very clear pictures of a lot of people. I could use these photos and, you know, identify the people in them and, you know, do some not so nice things. But those aren't my intentions. The first thing I'll do when I get this thing home is wipe the hard drive clean. 2012 would be when this thing was last in use. Uh, let's see. Oh man, hundreds, hundreds and hun 486 pictures and videos. Probably like 10 or 15 gigabytes worth of stuff. Yeah, they're all of the same people, some sort of get together. Yeah, I just looked at uh, a couple of the videos, and they are of a very drunk Christmas party in 2012 with a lot of uh, embarrassing things going on, like people playing with blow-up dolls and the like. Uh, for God's sakes, people, if you're gonna, you know, get rid of a computer, be it recycle it or throw it out or whatever, get rid of your personal stuff on it. Holy crap, you know. Uh, s someone who's a lot more of a jerk than, than I am could just take those videos, you know, post them on Facebook or whatever and really embarrass you. So what I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to completely wipe the hard drive anyway, but what I'll do right now is just put those in the recycle bin. I tried to put them in the recycle bin. I'll click. Oh, that's weird. There's no delete. That's strange. Okay, that's weird. Uh, he wouldn't let me delete them normally, but I there's this tool on here called Unlocker Assistant. I have no idea what it's supposed to do, but I think it deleted them. Yeah, it did. Let me go into the my documents. Is there a desktop folder? Where's desktop? Here it is. Oh yeah, here's all the rest of the pictures because there was like 400 of them. So I'll just highlight all of those. And delete, yes, 
and yep, they, they were just permanently deleted. So they're all gone now. Likewise, in the documents folder, yeah, there's someone's financial documents here. Let me take a look. Maybe they're just samples. Uh, nope, this is someone's taxes and stuff. Holy crap. God almighty. There's student loan and, and stuff on here. Holy moly, people. I mean, what are you thinking? The problem is they assume that once they leave the computer there, that's it. It's picked up by the uh, recyclers or whoever, and then, you know, it's gone. But no, that is not the case. Not at all. They're scrap pickers like me, who intend to make use of the computer for their own purposes. And then there's people, you know, identity thieves and stuff, who might use it for more malicious purposes. Oh, there's more pictures on here. Holy moly. Delete those. I'm just doing this for now. You know, just to get rid of it. It's funny, they're, they're not going in the recycle bin, they're just being permanently deleted. Oh well, that's good enough. And it seems to be it for now. Oh, we freed up quite a bit of space. There's only <laughs> less than 10 gigabytes used now, probably just Windows left. And there's nothing much on here besides millions of personal photos and stuff. Microsoft Power Toys, Tweak UI, Office 2007. Yeah, other than that, there ain't much on there, just standard Microsoft stuff. And, you know, stuff for, apparently this thing used to have a wireless card and stuff. Cool, a perfect working computer. And it's silent, and it runs beautifully. How nice. Well, there you go. There's a first test of the Dell Inspiron 530 desktop computer. So what I'll do someday when I get home and I have uh, enough time when I'm home, I'll wipe, I'll wipe the hard drive clean. Uh, I'll probably throw Windows 7 on it, even though it doesn't really have enough RAM to uh, deal nicely. I'll have to buy some RAM on eBay. And of course, also when I have some money, I will get a Core 2 Duo to uh, put in there. And yeah, I'll keep the same hard drive, because why not? 80 gigabytes is fine. And uh, yeah, I've done some, I did some, uh, I've done some looking on on uh, on video cards and stuff and uh, if, if well, I mean let's say I had the disposable income to buy a video card for this thing what I was looking at of course I'm an AMD guy uh, although someone did tell me that uh, AMD video cards uh, don't run too nicely on computers like this which already have NVIDIA graphics built onto the motherboard well, I don't know uh, about that, I'd have to do some reading about that, but uh, that's what someone told me anyway. But with the assumption that I could use AMD video cards on this, I'm partial to AMD. Uh, AMD currently makes a card, the uh, uh, Radeon HD 6600, which, uh, from what I can tell, is their most powerful card that only takes a single uh, slot. It, it doesn't take two of the external slots like a lot of really powerful video cards do and that's what I'd get because I wouldn't want I'd want to keep the PCI uh, Express 1x slot free so yeah I mean if I if I had the disposable income I'd, I'd get a video card like that or one close to it speaking of video I just want to see wow that's weird it took me to the recycle bin properties when I right clicked on the desktop why the heck's it doing that this computer is weird. It's got some <laughs> weird stuff on it. I'll go to the control panel. It's nice and fast. On XP, of course. No, I did not say to go and... What is wrong with this computer? It's acting really weird. I'm gonna assume it's just the... It's just Windows. Some crap on Windows. Open. Thank you. Uh... What happened to the NVIDIA graphics? It says, adapter, Intel G33 slash G31, chip type, Intel GMA3100. That's the same video chip that's in the Dell Inspiron 1525. Someone said, uh, yeah, oh, I think he just goes by his name now. I know him by his former YouTube name, IBM ThinkpadR51. 
Uh, he said these are basically a desktop version of the Dell Inspiron 1525, and by the looks of it, that's pretty much right, because it appears to have the same chipset. I thought I read online uh, uh, that these have NVIDIA graphics, but maybe that's just some of the models. Like I said in the first video of this computer, uh, like a lot of Dell's computers, these were available in a countless number of configurations. Some of them, apparent, evidently, had uh, NVIDIA graphics, but this one does not. So that's nice. I'll get an AMD video card someday. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, probably the next... Th this will probably all I'll show of this computer for now, because until I upgrade it, I won't bother putting it to any use. So probably the next time you'll see this computer will be when I get the money to upgrade it, which will be processor, RAM, and a video card. So that could be a long time down the road. I'm talking like a year or two. But uh, I do want to do that. But until then, here's this computer. Perfect working. Free out of a recycling box. How nice. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Well, right after I thought I finished this video, I think I discovered why this thing was uh, disposed of to start with. The power button didn't work. I, uh, I tried holding it in to turn off the computer. No response at all. I just unplugged it and plugged it back in and it didn't come on and I hit the power button and it didn't come on and uh, yeah the power button just didn't work at all so I was able to push it out of the uh, front panel here and by wiggling the wires I was able to get it to work so it seems that the wires have an in intermittent, intermittent connection uh, just you know by random chance uh, I've got it put back in and the wires are making contact now But uh, yeah, that's probably why this thing, uh, why they got rid of it. It just wouldn't turn on anymore and they didn't know why. So uh, yeah, it's working now. Um, if it ever becomes a problem again, I will put a little more work into it. I'll just re-solder the wires to the switch. It's just a little micro switch and uh, yeah, then it'll be fine. But uh, now it's perfect working. Oh my god. Just when I thought my computer collecting days were over, Look what the cat drags in. This is evidently a Dell Optiplex GX150. That's the scientific explanation of it. Okie dokie. Oh, I heard I, it. I, I saw dust. Oh! About time. I don't know if it's actually doing any damage or not. I bet that one did. <laughs>